I'm Sherlock Holmes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to rewrap your vaping batteries. It blows my mind how many vapors completely neglect, don't care, or just don't take serious the topic of battery safety. This is one of those things that can have a true negative impact on our industry and just for a personal safety standpoint really needs to be taken seriously. I'm not going to get into a whole video on battery safety in this video. I will do a video like that very soon. But for right now, I just want to show you one of the most basic steps that you can take to keep yourself safe and keep yourself out of the news. I personally believe the most fundamental aspect of battery safety is keeping your wrap pristine. Any nick, any dent, any tear, any rip, doesn't matter, it's all cause for concern and it needs to be rewrapped. When handled and cared for properly, you have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing, your battery is completely safe. But the moment that you get any kind of damage in that wrap, it's a ticking time bomb. I urge you just to take special care when it comes to batteries. I will also put links in, in the description to where you can find Battery Mooch's pages and YouTube channel. He is pretty much the ultimate authority on anything vaping battery related. He tests and releases his information on a multitude of different batteries and gives his results. So I strongly recommend that you take the time to do your research. And just a little side note, if you blow yourself up, that's exactly what happened. You blew yourself up. The mod didn't explode. It wasn't anything like that. You were a moron. You didn't take care of your batteries and you blew yourself up. Please don't be that idiot. The process of rewrapping an 18650 or any other kind of battery for that matter is extremely simple. It needs to be done the moment that you see any damage whatsoever in the battery wrap. If your battery doesn't look exactly like the day you got it, you need to rewrap it. You are going to need battery wraps. Again, super, super cheap, readily available. There's no excuse. Some shops will do it for free. You can bring it in. Other shops might charge you 25, 50 cents, even a dollar. It's worth it. I believe they should be doing it for free, but hey, that's just me. If you're going to be doing it yourself, you will need a heat gun. You can get a crazy heat gun or you can get a craft one. I personally have access to both, but when I'm at home, I use my craft gun one. I think it was 10 bucks at a hobby store, really, really cheap. And that's all you need, wraps and a heat gun. With all that being said, let me take you through the process. All right, we have our batteries, we have our heat gun, and we have our wraps. Wraps come in all different sizes for different batteries all different colors it doesn't matter what you use but you can use the different colors to marry your batteries here are some batteries now I intentionally destroyed these these are all examples of batteries you should absolutely not use that need to be rewrapped even though this one is still relatively covered well you should not use this this needs to be rewrapped immediately these ones are really bad. This one's even missing the insulator. And see, this battery has a little dent in it. I would even recommend not using that one because of that dent. But I'm just going to use these as examples of how to rewrap them. So the first thing that you want to do is peel off the old wrap. And don't forget to keep your insulator you want to put that right back on when you go to rewrap the battery. I'm going to do these in purple. Super simple. Pop your battery right in the tube. These are pre-cut, so they should be the right size. And these are actually a hair too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off just a little bit. Just maybe a millimeter or two. Straight across, nice clean cut. And you can gauge the length of your tube by centering the battery and then kind of folding it down and you're going to see exactly where that's going to tighten down. Same on the bottom. That's a little much so I'm just going to push the battery up towards here. So when that comes down, that still might even be a little much. Alright, I'm going to go a little bit more on the bottom. That should be perfect. 
All right, so, and that should be good up there as well. I'm gonna put the insulator back in. I'm gonna secure the insulator first. I'm gonna let the heat gun warm up. Just gonna lightly, from an inch, maybe an inch or two away. And I'm just gonna go down the creases and go down the battery. You'll feel it tighten up. And you wanna just quickly work your way down. Don't put too much direct heat on the battery. And don't burn your hand. And that is a beautifully rewrapped battery. I'll do the rest of them just to show you. Twist the battery in my hand to get nice even heat distribution. And then I personally go down the creases first. Again, twisting, flip it over, do the bottom, 